Hello and welcome to PlayStation Access. A slightly trepidatious Dave here today. I don't even know if that word means what I think it means. So that's how trepidatious I am. Uh, because this is a very unusual stream and we've got a bit of an unusual setup today to accommodate it. I have been presented with something hidden under a black cloth and a, a sealed envelope placed on top of it. We've got, I'm standing in a different part of the studio. We've got this camera on a tripod and we've also got Dan, the roaming cam man, in here as well uh, to to capture all of this whatever this is uh, and I am nervous I I know that it's been sent to us by THQ Nordic and I think that it could be possibly linked to their upcoming release Alone in the Dark which you may or may not know is a survival horror game and you may or may not know that we had a survival horror expert in the office until last week uh, and Ash has uh, she's actually on holiday right now which leaves me here to be the brave one but I'm not alone I'm not alone am I Rob no I'm, right. I'm here as you are sort of like Diana style handler Yes, in your ear, giving you guidance and reading the chat which that makes me feel brave you're really excited about today's stream Jay Notion is especially excited about Dan the Cam Man. Yes. Uh, and Don Taking Cade says, I hope it isn't a human head in the box. Yes. Well, we are all asking what's in the box. Do you know what's in the box, Rob? No, I have no idea. This is no really unusual. I am also excited. Well, I don't know. I'm not. I'm going to see. We're going to get there one step at a time. So. Um, Can you look to just the, the roaming cam, Dave? Just so I really like doing that, that edit. Just so you've got like a side eye cam there right i don't know how well well oiled machine we're going to be where i can say something right and then look to camera <laughs> i'm just gonna look <laughs> just make it obvious when you're doing a funny funny joke to the audience okay uh i'll try i don't know if i'm going to do any funny funny jokes today because i am quite nervous so the first, first thing anxious pudding says hi dave and rob dave you've got this dude what do you want to say to anxious pudding uh thanks anxious pudding i wish i did <laughs> I really like this. We've just got to make full use of this vision mixing okay. throughout the entire stream. That's making me feel a bit better. But we should... Oh, do you know what? It's not as blank an envelope as I thought. It actually has a uh, a kind of a crest on Very it here. Nice. Hounslow and Deep. Antique Insurance is established 1846. Mean anything to you, Hounslow and Deep? Not to me, no. Me neither. Shall I get this open? Think, yeah, open and under it's, underway. It's going to start with. Uh, it's going to start smelling with for <laughs> gunpowder. <laughs> I think. I think the envelope's safe. <laughs> Imagine if it wasn't. Imagine if I just keel over and it was like, you failed the very first. Little close up on you opening the envelope there. I love it. Here we go. Right. Just check. Anything else in here? No money. Ugh. No money. All right, okay. Put that down there. Right. If, oh, it's very tactile, which is a funny thing to say for uh, to uh, about a piece of paper. Obviously, it is. Hounslow and Deep. You don't know me. My name is Dorian Callister. I am a representative of Hounslow and Deep, underwriters out of Raynal Street, London. I write to you today about a curious matter that has recently come across my desk. Enclosed, you will find a rather beautiful antique travel chest. Okay. Left to you in the last will and testament of a client whose family has been represented by our firm for generations. Let me unpack that. I've been left a travel chest in a will and uh, from a, a, a family client who've been represented by Hanslow and Deep for generations. The precise origins and even the contents of the chest remain unknown to us, as there seems to be no key. Okay, well that's it. Open and closed. Sorry, we won't be getting in. Uh, the family were noted collectors of items rare and unconventional in nature, so this case has rather piqued my curiosity. Should you find what lies at the heart of the box, I urge you to find me in my London office immediately. I have a job 
for one with skills such as yours. Yours in eagerness and sincerity, Dorian F. Callister Esquire, Executive Client Liaison, Hounslow and Deep. I don't know what Esquire means, but I'd like to be an Esquire. Did you get it wrong? I did. Yes, I did. We did I just it. We about got it. I went to the old, the other cam, and then quickly came back. Okay. It's a bit of a, bit of a quick edit, but I got it. Well, get ready for another one because I think it's time we disrobed this travel chest. Let's Ooh, see. I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the box cam. What on earth? Oh, look at oh that. Oh my goodness oh, it looks me! Very beautiful, doesn't it? What wow. on earth is this? Wow. Standard Airlines stickers on it. Uh, Yosemite National Park. I've actually been to Yosemite, so uh, I can confirm. The Cunard, the Cunard line on the on the front here. There's other other stickers from other travel. So I see well, this is why they think it's a travel chest. It's got it seems to be well travelled. It's been to the Grand Hotel in Budapest. Uh, can't make out where that is from. And then on the front here, we seem to have, I guess, some kind of locking mechanism. There are six dials. I'm gonna. I'm assuming that these turn. They do turn. Whoa. It's like it's like an actual. It's like something that Nathan Drake would find in Uncharted. It is like it's even got a bit of cobweb it on like it. Looks like it's got phases of the moon, perhaps, on those dials. I was wondering about that. And then this here feels like a keyhole, but for a key, the type of which I've never seen. Uh, okay, so phases of the moon. The first question is, Is it, are we going left to right or right to left? Does the moon... Do you know this, Rob? Does the moon reveal itself from the left? I, I must. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know but why it must. If it did, know, everything everything goes from left to right, right? And is that why? Right. And is that why we, in our you know culture, go from left to right in lots of things? Maybe it is. I'm waiting for a sign here. I should have just tried to open it. It doesn't open as yet. But that feels that feels right. Unless, it, unless it is the other way. Phases of the moon. Unless it is right to left. Unless it is right to left. Maybe we try that. And then no... Well, definitely, it, uh, you know, I can... I get a, It is a tactile thing. Right. And I did get then a sense of movement when I moved that one. Like a... I felt like it, something... It didn't click into place, but it did feel like something happened there. Let's see. Interesting. I think I actually had that one the wrong way around. Let me see. And then this... Yeah. That would mean this. The as the shadow of the moon or the earth. It's the earth's shadow, isn't it? On the moon? Yeah. Okay, has this fixed it? Oh We're in. I think we're in. I think we're in. This is exciting. So you've already passed the first test. Did better than uh Hounslow and Deep. Wow. Look at that. Oh. oh, wow, this is amazing. I mean, there's a very dangerous looking gun in here. <laughs> I oh, am yes. I am genuinely concerned about that. Look at that. There is in the smell. How can I describe <laughs> it to you guys? I'm really glad you picked up on the smell. Because uh, Secret Boss was mentioning that apparently they... Oh, is that a nice, like, whiskey hip flask? There's there? a hip flask. So let's go through the items one by one. First of all, we have here a, wi a, a, a hip flask. It's got, like, a, a snake of some kind uh, embossed into it. I don't know. I can never remember if it's embossed or what the op opposite of that is. See, you know, leather. Here, a wallet, I would say. God, the smell is quite intense. Then what does it smell a like? Paint a picture for us. I can't so we wafts. can be in there I can't as well. get, get it in wafts. I need another waft. It's a slightly sweet smell. It is old. It does smell old. Um, but I can't picture. Maybe it's like a like a polish or something that's um, 
that's been used. It's definitely perfumey. Definitely a, a perfume about it. So hip flask, wallet, a flashlight, an old heavy looking flash flashlight by Ever Ready. A revolver, which looks genuinely terrifying. I'm I'm actually uh, I'm, I'm nervous to touch it, and that's got some kind of insignia upon it as well. And then there's this. What would you say this is? A necklace? You've removed it from the box, David. I know. <laughs> Do not you, read from oh, the you box. You must not read from the box. You've, uh, like, yes. you've uh, awoken something horrible by doing that. I reckon. I can't not notice as well in the lid of the box. Oh. <gasps> there's this a lion lion's head which is damaged now is it damaged intentionally or not intentionally that is the question uh we'll get to that i'm going to start looking at these items first and i'm going to look at this wallet because a wallet usually contains things it's very well cuz oh, oh, i keep look, getting what information in there yeah, this is what you want from a wallet, isn't it? Information. <laughs> I mean, that's a silly thing to say, but like, it's why they're called. <laughs> that's why, why I've stolen called. this wallet yeah. for the info that's inside. Okay, so this is Edward Carnby's wallet. Private investigator. Louisiana State Board of Private Investigative... No, in Private Investigator in Examiners. Uh, no date or anything. Oh, yes, 1939. So this has been around. This has been a around for a while. And in fact, oh, look at that. Oh. It's a badge. It's not a wallet. It's a badge. It's a police officer's badge. Well, private investigator badge. That is very cool. There is something in here as well. Some cash. I wish. Although, if it's from 1939, hang on. So we've got some paper I will get to, but I've also got, there's this little item. A oh, very small. Is it a key? It's a very small screwdriver I think it's definitely got it's definitely got a screwdriver head on it whether it has another purpose as well I don't know that's very interesting let's have a look at, I'm gonna put pop that down here let's have a look at this bit of paper that was in here to see if that contains any extra information so slightly coffee stain it's a letter this is interesting. January 15th, 1922. My search continues to lead me toward darkness and dead ends. Oh dear, why have I been sent this? Why me out of everybody? More than once I've been followed, spied upon. I need to start covering my tracks better. As kids, Haley and I would write notes to each other in invisible ink <gasps> oh i bet there's i bet the bottom half of that letter's got a message on it dave listen to this bit stealing booze from her dad's cabinet to reveal hidden messages <gasps> the, the and hip, the hip flask david there's a snake it's got to be something to do with the hip flask do you think it could be the hip flask? Stealing booze do you think from do you think it's the, the dad's cabinet to reveal hidden messages you should be doing this rob you should be doing this, not me. I think I think you're right. I think he's right. I've got it, Dave. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the, this camera's the best camera for all of this action. So I've been on I've been on that camera for most of this last ten Dan minutes. Dan the so. cam man can't hear you, so he won't know that you're singing his praises right now. But um We can't see the letters. <laughs> we can only see the le the the content of the letter on the Dan cam, so Right, I see. Okay. So that's so Useful. that's definitely, that's going to be my next point of inquiry. Does this, let's pop this there for a second. Does this hip flask? You'd think f to reveal invisible ink, you'd normally think a light of some kind, wouldn't you? So the, the, I was thinking the torch. You would. But the, the line about the, the booze, there's just, maybe there's something in there. Is this the uh, source of... Is there any liquid in there, Dave? Well, that's what I'm going to, I'm going to look Give at. Give it a little shake. Does it, does it... Well, I'm going to just, let me just have a little look in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's liquid. What does it smell like? <sighs> is it is it whiskey? I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> it's a bit more chemically than than boozy, I think. I think you have but to pour 
it on the paper. I think I got to pour it on the paper. I think I got to pour it on the paper. Let me see if I can find something to. Well, I hope that is what you have to do. Because if you so pour right, it on the paper, like, you ruin it. <laughs> it's been here for like almost a hundred years. And like, why did you ruin it? That's a priceless heirloom. And everyone in the comments is like, drink, drink, <laughs> drink. <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, everybody. Okay, I think. Let's put this here. I'm going to read this one more time. Uh, as kids, Haley and I would write notes to each other in invisible ink, stealing booze from her dad's cabinet to reveal the hidden message. It's got to be. It's got to be this, hasn't it? Maybe try the light first, and then if that doesn't work, then we... Does the light even work? I don't know. I mean, it's, Who knows? It's, it's proper. I mean, look at that. It's properly, properly antique. If that doesn't work, and I don't think it's going to... Then we try the the liquid on the paper. I think. Oh look, it does, oh, it turn, does on. work. It does turn on. Barely, barely turns on. We'll I think have a little shine on the paper. See if it reveals anything. I do think that whatever. I think I'm gonna. It's got to be the booze. There's nothing there, you know. There's nothing there. I don't know. Uh, look at no, that. I can't see anything. It is in fact. If there is a message here, it is invisible. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, this is exciting. Have we got enough liquid to uh to deal with this? This isn't this isn't the sort of thing you do every day. Do I think I pour it on or Oh I don't know. <laughs> this oh, could I'm be nervous. Oh, oh it's, it's working. working, wow. It's working. Look at that. Oh my god. That is very clever. I don't wanna oh my god, it goes quite what is it quite what's it <gasps> I found a... Okay, hang on. Okay. Wow. Read it before it soaks away. Let's, let's, let's just let, let it dry off a little bit. Maybe the light will help. It says, I found a gem of some sort. Its light shows the way forward. I've hidden it in the grip of my pistol. <gasps> Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. This is so right. much fun, isn't it? Let's put that to one side. Yeah, it's also a bit terrifying. Why have I been sent this? Where is all this going? Okay. I've been sent a gem of... of what is it? I've found a gem of some sort. Its light shows the way forward. Its light shows the way forward. I'm genuinely quite nervous about touching this. There's also a gem in the box, right? Look at this. This is he really heavy. Really so heavy. It mentions a gem, it mentions a light, and there's something hidden in the grip of the pistol. Yes, and the grip of the pistol, I'm just checking it's not loaded. When it, when checking if a pistol is loaded, it's usually best to just look right down it. That's how you check. That's, That's the safe. David. That's <laughs> it's all right, I'd already checked, <laughs> but it wasn't loaded, I think. It's fine. Nothing. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. We're absolutely fine. Okay, so the grip of the pistol... I notice. Do you have to put the key in there? Do you think the little the little has these screwdriver key? It's a screwdriver. It's a screw. This is exciting. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> it's not a very big screwdriver for quite big screws, but uh, we shall see how we how we're doing. So, what the message? What did it say about the gem and the light again? It said. I found a gem of some sort. Its light shows the way forward. I reckon you've got to shine the torch through the gem. Do you do you want to do this? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm just trying to Let help. Me, I know. I'm trying to add some suspense. Oh, sorry. God. Sorry. Honestly. I just don't mess up the editing as well. You've got to know which camera I'm looking at before I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I've got one off here. Is that enough? Oh, oh, that is so cool. I feel like Indiana Jones. Derek Allen says, Rob, back seating as always. <laughs> <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> no, it's more like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, it's really it's stuck in there. Do you know what? I need to do the other side, I think. This side's not the one. Otherwise, I might damage it. And that wouldn't be good. Let's get this. Undone. Oh. He he didn't want this being found. 
Oh, I might be wrong about this. Maybe I can just get the it The bearded out. console gamer has come up with a very clever comment, which is Rob is taking the role of yellow paint. It's a very oh, video, yes. very video game. Very naughty very dog. Video gamey observation there. Okay. Let's do this together. Okay. Oh, oh it's another it's another gem. So, it's a gem. But look, this is very it's like a it's like a light bulb. <gasps> it's like a light bulb. And so what do you think you have to do? Look at that. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> You've that. gone too far the other way now. What do you think you have to do? I'm thinking, well I do have a light source you that do. requires a bulb. And the bulb's not that great anyway, so I'm thinking Perhaps. You know, you've got to take the bulb out the, out the torch. Out the torch. That's what I'm thinking. They look similar sizes. Let's see Careful if this even... It is an antique. Oh! Spring-loaded. Okay. Does this... Don't break now. Okay. Yeah, be careful. Not this is fragile. Don't break this anything. Is, this is definitely fragile. Lots of people just want you to put everything in your mouth. What? Everyone's like, you should taste everything. Lick it. Lick the bulb. Did you not get that it's from 1925? Lick the or envelope. Was... Lick the letter. Who's licking lick bulbs? Lick this. Lick oh. that. God. Why have I got this reputation for licking things? I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't lick things. That's what saying. Okay. All right. Original bulb out. That connector does look very, very similar. New bulb. Oh my god, it's it's not a great fit. This is really dangerous. Okay. Nice. That's in. It's in. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, have I done this right? What a what a great thing this is. Well, imagine imagine yeah. thinking all this up. When you spilled that water on the paper and the writing came up, I was my mind was genuinely blown. Yeah, I mean, honestly. I've never seen too. anything like it. That was very cool. It's kind of fading now as well, that writing really? it is. Yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Okay, right. It's, these are spring... <laughs> Shed of Chaos says, Taste is the go-to access sense. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it is fading. Look at that. Yeah. So it's it's a good job you got you got the message when you did. Okay. What do we think is going to happen here? I, I must admit, I've been following along with you, Rob. I think each step has been, you know, fairly clear. But this one, it's light. I, I mean, it's fading. I think it said it's light shows the way forward. Yeah, maybe you should have taken a picture of that writing with your phone yeah. or something <laughs> so you could refer back to it. Well, they didn't have cameras. Yes, they did. I was going to say they didn't have cameras in, you know, 1939 or whatever. <laughs> but they, they, they did Not actually. Cameras, they were, no. It wasn't the dark, the dark Ages. Okay, right. I'm going to turn on the light. I should, should I not? I'm not even going to look at it. What if it, something bad happens? Okay, it's on. It looks like a black light. It looks like a black light. First thing I'm going to check is the bit of paper it came in. So Nothing there. Light. Oh, shine, it shows the way forward. I'm going to have a look on the note just to make sure no extra information there. Don't think so. The only thing we haven't done anything with the other yet. Team is the gem. But the gem, I don't know how this could be, how the light could be, could interact with this. If it, I tell you what, this, this, this stone feels very unusual. There's something about it, there's a quality about it that I can't quite describe. It, it looks solid, but it feels, it, and it's weighty, but it feels very, very brittle, like unusually brittle. I have no idea what kind of material that is. And it, I don't know if you can see it. It's actually very carefully. Lick the gem. Says I'm not licking, Mystic. <laughs> not licking the gem. It's actually, it's actually got little engravings all over it. Uh, maybe kind of, kind of hieroglyphic-y, kind of, maybe. Maybe you should... 
And maybe you should. Sh maybe there's something. If you shine the torch on the wall, is there like a message within the light itself, or your hand, or something? Just like well, a it's, flat, it's quite, plain it's quite, surface. It's quite. It's quite. It's quite bright in here. The only other thing I'm we've got here is the lion's head. I'll just shine it on the back of this this to see. I can't see. There's no suggestion that there's a there's any kind of message in the bulb itself. I don't think. Let's have a look here. It is very bright in here, which I don't know is a problem. I'm not getting anything there, though. Nothing here suggests an action to me. So I wonder, I wonder, what is this bead part of it? I mean, it could be anyway. There's a lot to investigate. There is. I mean, there's, there's definitely something going on with this line, but I can't see how it's related to this light, I'll be honest. And then there is the... On the front, there's the... Uh, Gem shows the way forward. Yeah, forward. Forward. <laughs> if I, <laughs> it's, if I point it's it forward, right? <laughs> it only goes on or off. That's off. That's on. Forwards, maybe the front. There's a fingerprint here. Is there? Yeah. A fingerprint. There actually is. I mean, I don't know. Is it your either. actual fingerprint? I don't know. Is that? Is that? I mean, I've touched this box quite a lot, but there's one very specific fingerprint there. Oh. That may or may not be supposed to be space supposed to be there. I think whatever we do, we've got it. Oh, there's another one. There's another, another one. one. I wonder. Are there more? It's such. So, it's so specific. Forward shows the way forward. I also didn't appreciate that this box has been quite badly scratched, as if by. Yeah. There's got to be more on the box. If there's fingerprints, if there's fingerprints, we've got to be onto something. I reckon. Let's have a look, see if there are more. We shouldn't be doing this in such a bright space. Well, unfortunately, yeah, there's no other way. If we do it in the dark, uh, the audience can't see the magic happen. I know. <laughs> yeah, they can't see my dim demise. There's definitely a fingerprint there and a fingerprint there. Any others? Nothing I can see. The fingerprints has got to be pointing to something, right? It's got to. It's got to. Well, mean I'm something. thinking maybe I put my fingers on the fingerprints, but I just want to make sure I found them all first. I know this is not uh, brilliant. Live stream content. This is the, the Materia menu of the stream right now. <laughs> well, people like the Materia menu, so there's only you know there's only two. There's just those two. They're in a very specific spot. There's one here on this corner, and I guess it's a thumb. And there's one here on this corner, which I again, if I were to put my th my hands in that position, what would it present to me? The way forward would be. I don't know if it's open. Ooh. Would it be lifting it up? Surely it's not something that complicated. It's got the light's got to reveal something on the box. Surely. There's two. I found it, Rob. There's something about these parts of the box here, I think. Maybe. It feels like... These bits lift up. Maybe they're not supposed to. <gasps> Two little wooden lads have lifted up, and now I think 
I think we're supposed to lift up this whole this whole tray. Does this slide out? Hello. Taking the box apart. This is very, very exciting. That was very cool. Oh, I'm nervous. It's just everyone take a minute. Let's just take a second here. Lift it up. There's going to be something horrible under there, I reckon. Oh, don't say that. I'll put this back in its little spot so that it's just in case that's important. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Some Bit chocolates. Oh. Chocolates. <laughs> the milk tray man. Oh, my God. There is something horrible beneath what this. What is it? It's. Oh. <gasps> it's. What is it? Wow. It's a mask of some kind. Uh, initial I think thoughts. You should put it on. There's definitely a mask. I don't want to put it on. It looks like there might be some tarot cards, or certainly cards. And then there's some kind <laughs> Outcast of. Katsuki says, "Spiders leap onto Dave's face." <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if that had happened. That would not be good. Uh, and then there's some kind of tool. And Dave gets punched, says D3 Mystic. Let's see. This is very amazingly secured. Let's start with these cards. Okay, the cards are loose. <laughs> Different move says, how does this affect Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it does. It might affect it if Dave dies soon might, and yeah. uh, we're unable to carry on. Bad. Let me undo these. Miss Muscle says, put it on, put it on. <laughs> Do you, the bearded what, don't console you, gamer says, "Lick mask." I was going to say, "Don't you want me to? Don't you want me to taste it?" Lick first? it, says Sword in the Storm. Come on, you've got to lick something by the end of this stream. I'm not going to lick anything by the end of the stream. Thank you very much. If that's if that's the content you've come here for, you're going to be disappointed. Look at these cards with me. These tarot cards. Honestly, I can't believe that Ash isn't here for this. This is she'd be all over this. I, any idea about any of these? They're very thick. Very thick oh. about them like these. The hero fant. Don't know what that means. Can you can you tilt them slightly so the audience can see? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The hero fant. The tower. The magician. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, they can The fool. Are there? An, is there a number element to this? Possibly. There are numbers at the top. The emperor. Strength. Blimey, that's horrible. Do you reckon you've got to order them in the numbers and it'll and it'll say a message? Well, pot potentially, yeah. High Priestess. Oh. Temperance. I've missed one here. Justice. Temperance. The Devil. The Hanged Man. The Empress. The lovers, the moon, oh, the sun. There's another one there. The wheel, the sun. Back to the hero fant. Okay. Great. I don't know what that means. I don't like it though. Put those down. Right. So that's that. That's that. Next up, I think before the mask. Oh, I don't know. The mask is very well secured. I want that to be known. So you can't lift it out. I can lift it out. But I'm nervous about it. It looks, it's like, do, it really is do not read from the book. <laughs> like, that's the vibe I'm getting. It's like, <laughs> don't, what are you doing? Don't do this. Wave to the main camera, Dan. Oh, Dan, they want you to wave at the main camera. <laughs> Everyone's happy now. Lick Dan. I'm surprised I haven't, I haven't been told. Let me get this undone. Some people want you to shine the light in there. Yeah, okay. We can do that. I'm, I'm just trying to undo this knot. This ancient knot has been very well... Very well done by someone. Everyone's loving Dan. Lick Dan, says Don Caking. Everyone says Lick Dan. Well, I said it first, everyone, so you be original. Okay, right, that's undone. Chad Gatling says, I said to Lick Dan a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> no one's impressed. Stick your head in the box and lick the mask, says the chaotic <laughs> cook. All right. Dr. Nova 1 is giving you a choice. Lick Dan or the mask. 
I choose Dan. Right. Okay. I quick go with the with the light as requested. Nothing. 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 Nothing doing. What are those little don't symbols? Don't say I didn't try. Those little symbols are yeah, they're symbols. There's going to be some. There's going to be a big reveal in a minute. Okay, here comes the mask. If anyone here is like a terrifying, oh, just let me know. Okay. What's going on, right? What can you see through it? <gasps> it's going to clamp itself to your head. And <laughs> oh, I got that. Oh, should have taken my glasses off first. No, it's okay. That was all me. It's just a horrible mask. Through it, I could see Dan. Um, and I could hear voices saying, Lick Dan. That's okay, just, there's some... That's just your, the, your own mind. That's my own mind. Uh, and then there's this tool in here as well, also secured. Amazing what you can do with a bit of, with a bit of twine. Let's get that out, because this is very unusual. If you thought the mask was weird, wait till you see this. It's so secure. It's like when you get, you know, a cool new action figure at Christmas. You've got to get them out of the plastic box. All the arms, that horrible and, shrink all the arms and legs are, like, tied up. I think that it can come out now. Look at that. Look at that. What is it? It's like a, it's like a ceremonial dagger. Like a perber. From Unch Pardon? Like in Uncharted 2, that ceremonial dagger, I think it's called a perber, isn't it? Wow, good memory. It's like a, there's a main shape that then is wrapped by a kind of twine, horrible twine wrapping it. It's got a very, it's got a sort of an oily tip as well, I would say. I don't know if the camera catches that about it, but it has a kind of an oily tip. Cara Bell says, for stabbing. <laughs> for stabbing. Exactly. Perfect. And then the last thing in here, I don't know if Dan the cam man can capture this, is this. Cooper and Wright's mystical divine ring. Ah. Amaze your guests with feats of scrying and clairvoyance. And if I'm not mistaken, that diagram looks very much to me like somebody dangling a necklace. Oh! <gasps> What's happened? The necklace. It's magically... Is it magnetic? Or magnetically <gasps> drawn oh. to the blade. Oh. Interesting. Okay. The... Diagram suggests that if I hang this above this ring, something should happen. What could possibly happen? Oh, I'm nervous about this. Can you see this down? Is it going to be like a. Nothing's going to happen short. Sure. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> Are you doing that? No. I mean, I'm moving it around a little bit, but then it's. Ooh. Oh my god, it's like. It suggests to do oh this. Oh my god. It's It's like it's, a flipping Ouija board or something. It's getting grabbed. I'm scared, Dave. I'm scared. You you're not doing it. Like some evil spirit has possessed that. Oh god. I think this there's a very strong magnetic pull there. That's where it is. Ooh. Does there, oh. Oh, and here. There. I don't know if I'm imagining it, but I can feel there's like a sort of a. It might just be in my. It's that my, right? My that, ears, that one there. That one. This one and this one. Well, what does it mean? What does it mean? It's kind of an F symbol and a six symbol. Do those symbols relate to the tarot cards in any way? I think they must. Okay, let's leave this in here to remind us of the two symbols. So, a kind of a sixy spiral. And a kind of a uh, an F shape. So 
what can we see by way of... Because they're not numbers, are they? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think they're numbers, so I think they must represent something else here. A sixy spiral. What's on the back? Ah! There we I go. I didn't look on the back. The back of the cards. Okay. Surely we just got to get the two cards. No. 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 Still no. No. Negative. No. We're looking for a sixy spiral. A sixy spiral. God, I really hope there is one in there with this symbol on. I Otherwise, know. Otherwise, what are we going to do? And a kind of an F shape. <gasps> sixy spiral. Sixy spiral. I'm not going to look yet. I'm nervous. We're hoping for an F shape. One of the cards is going to say lick. The other card <laughs> is going to say damn. Me. <laughs> oh, oh, God. There it is. Okay, let's just go let's through the sure rest of them no just to make sure. Same symbols. Okay. Jed Cutler says, consonant please, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> One from the top and four from anywhere else. Okay. This is nerve-wracking, isn't it? What's this going to mean? Strength and the hermit. Solved. Uh, I see. Do you see? No. Put them together. The hermit strength. Oh, Can no, it make. Does it... Can you see? Oh, he's, he's stabbing, stabbing the wolf in the eye with the yes. dagger. And I don't think that is a wolf. It's a lion. It's a lion. Oh, wow. So you've got to stab the lion in the eye. Yeah. Yes, I do. That is amazing. Okay. Whoever's thought, whoever's put this together, by the way, great job. This is very cool, isn't it? Oh, God, this is heavy. Right, I'm going to assume that we need to leave this hanging like it is and open it as is. So... Stab the lion in the eye. <gasps> wow! Wow! Some bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Ancient bubbles. What on earth? Amazing. <laughs> Did you put that in there, Secret Boss? Oh, God. I think Secret Boss put the bubble wrap in there. I see. Well, then, then the mystery solved. <laughs> Secret boss, why have you done this? Right. More. <laughs> More twine. Let me pop this down. That was so cool. So cool. Ruined by the immersion breaking bubble wrap. Anyway, what is this? Okay. Looks like... I've got several things. Okay. Come round, come round, come round. Come one, come all. So, first of all, we have this. Quite exquisite, I must I must say. Medallion? It's very uh what's it called? The Eye of Ra. It looks like a, you know, very it looks like the type of thing you'd have in like in a mystical planetarium. It looks quite celestial. I know I mentioned Indiana Jones, but if it does, it looks like I'm going to put it on a staff and the sun's yeah. going to shine through. And it's got, again, it's got, yes, yeah, Celestial is right. It's got this kind of map of the sky almost. And then the symbols on the outside, I don't know, vaguely, hieroglyphically, maybe. Now, this is interesting because I know we joked about T Secret Boss, but Doreen Callister has been in there. This is definitely not as ancient as it as it appears because there's a business card. Dorian this is Callister. Dorian Callister sent me this in the first place. Ah. The last thing is this. After everything, the artifact I have found turns out to be a fake, but I've lost too much to give up now. I'm almost at the heart of things. I know it. I've made arrangements to fly out to London to meet with a representative of the family next week. I'm going to need all the help I can get. So this isn't it. This must be the fake. 
This must be the so fake, you've whatever. You've got to go to London. I, I mean, according to Dorian's note, should you find what lies at the heart of the box, I urge you to find me in my London office immediately. <gasps> I have a job for one with skills such as yours. Wow. So you've got to take the fake, whatever that object is. So this is, this is I guess this is part one of a, a grander story, Dave. I don't... I don't want to go to London. <laughs> it's bad I enough think here. You do. It's bad I enough think here. You do. Oh, Rob, I'm not prepared. I'm not cut out for this kind of thing. Yeah, I could solve some puzzles you eventually solved, with, the help, the, of, with the, the help of you and several people in the chat, but I don't the think that counts no me as the help skills. whatsoever. All they've told you to do is lick stuff all stream. I, I know that this is crazy, but I know that Ash has just left, but I think... I think she might need to come with me on this. There's no way I can do this on my own. This is way too scary. Well, Ash would be the perfect accomplice, the perfect person to ask for aid. And she's just gone on holiday, so I'm hoping that... Well, some oh. things are more important than holidays, aren't they? I guess we're going to have to get in touch with this guy and see what what we can do. Well, I think, I think, you've, I think you've solved the box, Dave. You've done well <sighs> there. I've solved the box. So I'll I'm, take some small credit for that. I'm going to the main camera now. Okay. Hi. I'm I'm back. Um, we're back on main cam. So you can still yes. Still some jokes if you want. I'll I'll, I'll catch think them. about it. I I'm genuinely feeling a little bit tense. It's like uh, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I love puzzles, and I guess that that's why I've been sent this. Um, but the fact that the uh, the, the the you know the answer is come and go and see a executive client liaison for an antique insurance company in London has freaked me out a little bit to be honest so I thought maybe they'd just be like like a like a nice like a trailer for the game in here maybe you know something <laughs> like a release a release a release poster an image something it would be like that's done but now it's it feels like there's more to this and I'm not prepared for more so I'm not feeling like doing any jokes uh, really, I'm feeling quite tense. So, yeah, I guess I guess watch this space, everybody. I mean, I I'm going to see if I can convince Ash to come with me because I don't want to do this on my own. Um, if not, Rob, maybe you'll come. Maybe Rosie will come. Maybe Nath will I'm come. I'm not going. Maybe Holly. Maybe Elle. Just anybody. <laughs> Dan, the camp man. Maybe you'll come. He'll come. He'll come. It's fine. Uh, because yeah, I'm not doing this on my own. But. Um, yeah, I guess watch this space, everybody. This was really, really fun. This is very, very cool, but it has freaked me out a little bit. So Dante Kincaid says, game? What game? Alone in the dark. Alone in the dark. I mean, we think this is where that's come. This is where this has come from. I, I've i only seen this. I was told that this may, may have something to do with Alone in the Dark. And if it doesn't, I'm even more freaked out. So it's, yeah, I am quite worried about it. So I'm guessing, like, just watch this space. Keep an eye on the community tab. Uh, keep an eye on the channel. Uh, I assume we'll do a live stream or we'll make a video or something. Uh, but I'm going to try and take Ash with me or anyone else, really, and just just see what this is. Follow this up and, and make sure it's all okay. But I guess that's it. I guess that's it for today. Yes, yeah. We've solved a mystery and created a much larger we one, have. as far as I'm concerned. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I am quite nervous. Thanks for watching, um, everyone. And thanks for all your encouragement <laughs> of and all your lick comments. Sword of the yeah. Storm's like, lick something. Um, I think we should end, really end, we should end the to. stream. You've got to select something and look at the face cam and lick it. And, that, and then I'll go to the out card. Uh, that's a horrible. Why am I even considering this? <laughs> <laughs> the audience demands, David. I'm gonna, the, I'll lick this inside bit of wood. Ready? Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Thanks for this. Go on. Go on! He's done it! Bye! Uh -oh.